we're going to get you saucy yeah, before yeah, the end yeah, of this yeah, evening. Yeah. Okay, so two-piece yeah. hydrangea. But you know what the th first thing I noticed? These are not those wimpy, muted colors. These are. Who wants that? I I'm allergic to wimpy. Thank you. So mm -hmm. am I, and we don't do dinky here either. We do not do dinky. <laughs> these are brand new this season, and I'm not kidding you. These have been on fire. So about 10,000 is what we had to start. And I think we only have a couple thousand left. Like well, maybe three. These are awesome. I love the LA Dreaming Hydrangea because if you love hydrangeas and you always think, how do I do the pink? How do I do the blue? Pink and blue on the same plant. Who knew? Okay, that's crazy. And you know what? Look at just the, the I guess the undulation of color. You see the greens popping out, the yellows. These have a lot of dimension. It's the most unique collection of hydrangeas we've ever right. offered. When these came out, I, I love the hydrangeas, mm -hmm. but I don't like the pastels. I want the deep, rich right. colors, and that's what you get with these. The blue, these bloom on the new and the old wood, which means that no matter how bad the winter is, mm -hmm. they are still going to bloom for you. So let me ask you this. How tall are they going to get? Do they get woody or leggy or any of that kind of nonsense? These get about four feet tall. They okay. get about four feet wide. They have a nice tidy habit. As you can see, these work beautifully down in Mississippi, down in northern Florida. They do need a frost, but not much. And if you say, well, will they work in cold areas? They were found in Michigan. What? Yeah. So I have to tell you, four by four is manageable. It is, but it's nice and tidy because a lot it of is. hydrangeas are ragged looking, and no matter how bad it is, they're absolutely going to happen. And look at the bright, bright blue right there. Look how they look together. People are buying lots of sets of these and planting them on embankments. Oh, look at this next one. I have to tell you, that's rule number don't one. You got to have tidy. Don't come ugly. Well, no, don't show up ugly. That's what you mm -hmm. always say. I, it caused me to take five hours to get ready this morning. Oh, my word. But gorgeous flowers. Also, these are great to dry and put in your arrangements. And I love that because what I'll do is make a tight arrangement of these, then stick the roses through it and use it as a living oh. oasis. Okay, so when we talk about picking these up, we're getting two pieces. Yes. If you wanted to do the embankment like that, should you pick up maybe four? And yes. how far apart should you plant them? Well, I plant mine four to five feet apart because they do get four feet wide. And the thing is, I want them to be a perfect rounded dollop. That's mm. what I want. And that's just a fantastic look. Big spots of color throughout the garden. All summer long, there are hardly any flowering shrubs right. that bloom in the summer. I Most know. things, you know, when their spring's done, all the flowering so shrubs are done. All the way through August? Yes, all the way through August. And wow. I've got these in my garden. I put so them pretty. in a couple of years ago. I love them. I've got big, tall silver maple trees in the front. I had them planted under the silver maple trees mm -hmm. where they get some dappled light. If you live in northern zones, you can grow them out in full hot baking sun. The further south, the more shade you want to give them. You know, when you look at investment gardening, that's what you have here. These are two payments of about 55 cents a day. If you're using your Q card, you can go to three payments of $11 a month. This is such a great find, but you know what? Here's what I love. You see hydrangeas out there, but they get too leggy, they get too uh, too woody, or they're those wimpy, muted tones. Or they don't bloom. And, right. it, and a lot of people always say, you know, my hydrangeas didn't bloom this year because you've got the old fashioned types that only set bud on the old wood, which means if you've got a bad winter as we had this year, it kills the buds and you don't yes. have anything in the spring. New wood. Okay, so yeah, let me ask you this. Yeah. When the season is over. Yes. How do I care for them? Do I have to cut them back? Do I let them you know, die no. out on their own? What do no. I do? No, I, I will cut any of the old blooms off okay. just to tidy it up. And then I wait until about this time of year when you're starting to see the new growth coming. And you can tell where you need to trim back. And you can just even it up then. But I never, mm. if you cut back in the fall, you cut off a lot of your blooms. Uh, yeah. So that's the trick. You would only cut back anything that looks like any tip die back. You would cut that back. That's it fertilize with our acid fertilizer. Okay. They love that, but you'll still have the pink and the blue flowers all at the same time. Well, I'll tell you, if you are a fan of hydrangeas, I grew up with hydrangeas. This yes. is one that is going to be easy to grow. It's going to be a variety you may not have seen out here, but the value is tremendous. Now, it comes like this. Yes. What can we expect in the first season? You'll get blooms the first year. You get the big blooms the second year, but you will get blooms this first year. Nice big plants like here from Cottage Farms. We're known for hydrangeas and roses all big time. Wow. And this is our, one of our most colorful collections. You get this, and this is going to bloom this year in high canopy shade 
or morning sun. Those are the best bets or in containers. Okay, speaking of containers, I, I yes. got distracted looking at these two containers behind me. <laughs> Remember when I told you gigantic, like the size of my head flowers? These are those hibiscus that are super, super limited, but these look gorgeous. And you have that lovely height change. The foliage is different. It creates an interesting garden as you're going around right. building estate gardens. My word, looking at your book is pretty darn humbling. <laughs> Thank but when you. you build estate gardens, you're looking for textures, you're looking for clusters, you're looking for foliage. Would these two go together? No, they do great together because they would take the same sorts of situations, but you're also looking for uniqueness. Mm. You're also looking for easy care. It's not about spending more money. It's about buying the right plants. We bring you unusual things that are easy to take care of. By the way, the hydrangeas and the hibiscus you just showed are hardy and they're guaranteed for a full year. I mean, if you've never bought deal. with us before, know that that's a great guarantee. So when do these are ship? Um, these will ship when it's perfectly safe to plant in your area. Oh. And, and we'll be popping up the zone maps uh, periodically and you'll You're see. Like my just planting gives you a heads up. Well, there you go. And you'll get a growing guide that tells you all about the hydrangeas or the hibiscus, whatever yeah. you order. And when the boxes arrive, you open them up, save that growing guide, don't throw it away. Right. And uh, put it down with your fertilizer so they're in the same place. You know, when you start to think about a beautiful, almost nostalgic yeah. plant. I love the hydrangea. And I do too. And I really appreciate the fact that they make beautiful cut arrangements. Yes. You always have something to take to someone. You always have something for your kitchen counter. It really is like that gift that keeps on giving. It is. And my grandmother had hydrangeas. Hers were the lighter colors. Mm -hmm. I thought they were beautiful. And hers bloom sometimes and, and not other times. But these bloom all of the time. These are perfectly hardy. As I mentioned, these are from Michigan, but they yes. also do great in Mississippi for one end to the other. And the most unique collection that we've got because you've got the blue and the pink all at the same time. So 500 are in the cart, many people buying more than one. I'm not super good with patience, and I know Philip isn't either. <laughs> and I get off your knees. I told you no. I fell I down. Said, no. I can't every, get up. Every time he asks, I say, I'm sorry, <laughs> Philip. I'm taking. Darn get it. up off your Darn knees. Darn it. But not kidding. Um, if, you want, if you're tired of waiting, try your mobile apps, any smart device, qvc.com. We've got you covered there. I don't want you to miss out as these portions sell out. Unfortunately, we're coming to that point in the season where we won't be able to get them back. That's it. And you get two in this collection. Don't miss out on the hydrangeas. They are the hot, hot thing this year. Absolutely. So still to come is our butterfly patio tree. Wait a second. Wasn't